is breathtaking. See, the ocean, because she doesn't have any experience with water, it's like the ocean of sand. Sharp contrast to the desert planet, of course. Man, I love the production design of this movie, just cinematography costumes. I'm guessing that's Irulan because she's doing the narration. Yeah, that uh, that shot of Duke Leto looks like a Clone Wars animation still. <laughs> it's because I've been watching Clone Wars. I love that shot. Beautiful. Yeah, Fade Routh, man, you know, the, doing the Harkonnens is like sort of these albino, bald... Uh, it's all, I don't It's an interesting thing to make them more distinctive stylistically from the 84 movie. Not exactly my favorite choice, but it, it does work. It's cool. Call him the big sandworm. His moment to prove that he is worthy. Big uh, coming of age, becoming a man. Just uh, visually, I think it would be pretty spectacular, but, you know, there's something about the 84 version. I, I really like how they, they did it. They pulled it off really well. I, I always loved how, of course, that was all practical, and they, they did a pretty good job with most of it. It was a little bruised blue screen at one point, but... Oh, yeah! Yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think the best thing about this one is that we're going to be seeing a lot of things that, pacing-wise, the film won't have as much to deal with because, unlike the... 84 movie which just kind of glossed over everything with a montage of about 45 minutes of oh yeah there was a war and he had a sister we'll be able to kind of delve maybe a little more into some of that payoff learn more about the Fremen show a little bit more about the Emperor and Fade Rautha because I know that the Harkonnens were working with you know political dealings uh, you know uh, in the background in the book that was kind of another subplot so I don't know if they'll get into that there they did more in the Children of Dune and uh, regular Dune sci-fi series which much more about just the uh, the political intrigue. I think those are probably the closest adaptations to the books, if anybody hasn't seen them. But I don't know. They'll, this one's more about making it very accessible, so they probably won't dive too much into that. But I'm really excited to see Fade Rautha, and I'm excited to see The Emperor. That's Christopher Walken. It's honestly the thing I'm most excited about. But I think, you know, obviously the performances will be probably pretty darn good. The set design, costumes, production, cinematography sound like... It's got to be impeccable, and I think it's really doing the source material justice in an accessible way while still being pure to what it's about. So, yeah, I'm really excited for it. Uh, you know, trying to cut back a little bit on spending money because, you know, tickets are more expensive. So I don't really go out to the theater as much, but there's a few I might see, and Dune is definitely on the list. So, yeah, let me know what you all thought about the trailer, anything you're excited about or wondering about or maybe worried about. Let me know in the comments below, and we'll perhaps chat about it. All right, everybody, stay magical.